Hello everyone, we are here to talk about custom scissors in the EU. We would like to inform you to give you some insights on what to do to get the customs authorities act for you at the border. I'm here with Klaus Eckert. Klaus. Well, thanks Pascal. Um, it's quite surprising actually. Um, German customs are very keen um, to detect all counterfeits which are out there. But of course they need the information. They need information on the IP rights involved, that would typically be trademarks. They need full information on the products which are covered by these IP rights. And obviously they need information on the counterfeit, what kind of counterfeit that would be. So um, to whom should we provide such information? How does that work? Well, the lawyer of your choice should gather this information from the client and then it's entered into an online data bank at the German customs. Um, and with this information in this data bank, um, the German customs is enabled to retrieve this information and based on it, detect all counterfeits as quick as and as efficiently as possible. Okay, so we need some information on the trademark and what our clients typically do and what their product are. So what specific information do we need for this application for action? Well, first of all, of course, you need full information on the trademark rights or design rights or patent rights, whatever may be involved. You need full information on the formalities of these rights. Um, then you need as comprehensive as possible information on the products themselves, meaning um, what type of product is it, the packaging, the artwork, the color scheme, the pack, and in particular, the pricing, actually. The pricing can be an indicator whether or not it's a counterfeit. If the product is available in several countries, of course, you have brands that have international coverage. You would need to know what type of packaging, what artwork is in that specific country. And that information should be submitted too. And so further, customs are, of course, very interested where the products are produced. Are they produced in the European Union or outside? That can be something which is very helpful in identifying counterfeits. So I see we need to provide information also on the supply channels, who are the people shipping or the shipment companies they work with and what are the supply chains and what are um, authorized absolutely. distributors. Absolutely. absolutely. Shipment and distribution information and the channels through which the goods are shipped, i.e. the original products, is essential. Um, and it's also very important, by the way, to know yourself whether this is a counterfeit or not, because if it's, you know, you have this typical licensee, with that information, the customs is able to identify immediately, is this a counterfeit or not? Is it going to the right party or is it going to some illegitimate setups. And I can imagine when customs check a lot of goods at the border, they will need a lot of information on the actual counterfeit products as well, like how to detect them and how to see whether it's original or whether it's fake. Absolutely. So this is also essential information. The customs need to know what the counterfeits look like. And well, in most cases, you will have that information already because you've probably encountered counterfeits previously. So images of such counterfeits are extremely helpful and they need to be submitted um, to the database. And um, information, if you have that, where such counterfeits are typically produced, often um, they are produced in China or Turkey, and that is, of course, essential. Often the client even has information specifically on, on towns within the countries or even companies which have cropped up previously and which are known as culprits. So it's very important to get all that information on file. So let's assume customs find out that there is a knockoff product at the border. They check it and they see it and they have a certain indication that this is a counterfeit. What happens next? Well, typically, um, once they detect a counterfeit, they would get in contact with you immediately, within hours sometimes. And um, you need to report that extremely quickly to the client because the time is of the essence. Um, the deadlines are extremely short, sometimes three or four working days, sometimes 10 days to take further action. And so the client needs to know exactly the information relevant for making the decision, i.e. whether to destroy the counterfeit goods 
or whether further legal action is necessary, as the case may be, perhaps by way of a, an ex parte's preliminary injunction. That all depends on the circumstances. So this means that the client also internally has to set up a certain procedure, best practice, guidelines, for example, to take action or to react quickly once there is a counterfeit. Absolutely. So it's important, actually, right from the start, when you put the application for action in place at the German customs, to have some sort of protocol, some sort of guideline in place, which you've agreed upon with the client, so everyone knows exactly what they have to do and within which time frame and what information is needed. Um, obviously, there may be a lot of uh, counterfeits um, which pop up, and then you need to relay this information very quickly so the client can make a quick and learned decision. But it sounds like it's quite an effective action to take to get counterfeits prevented from coming into the German or European market, right? Absolutely. It's a wonderful tool because it's very uh, cheap, actually. The customs don't ask for an official fee, okay? And typically, with minimum information, you can get very quick results. In fact, um, in some cases, or in most cases, um, the counterfeit goods are destroyed without any further action being necessary. So it's uh, extremely effective and has certainly helped to combat counterfeit in the last, last years. It's a very effective tool. Okay, and so if you want to know more about it, check out our website at Badele, where we have a brochure on custom seizure in the EU. Thank you very much.